What's up guys, Crypto Savvy here. Hope everyone's having a fabulous day. We are gonna be taking a look at Bitcoin and Litecoin. Our targets from yesterday and the day before have hit. Um, Litecoin almost, it's probably gonna hit. Also, we're gonna take a look at um, the gold targets that hit. We'll take a look at silver and Dow just real quick. And uh, yeah, it should be a good video. Don't forget, we have a free Discord group in the description below the video. Definitely check it out along with some other affiliate links on there that really help the channel out if you use them. And let's get into the video. All right, guys, as always, this is not financial advice, trading advice, investment advice, or any of that. Disclaimer, scrolling on the bottom. We're going to take a look at the charts. I'm going to do this real quick. It's going to be a quicker run through than usual. Not going to let, take a look at the fear and greed index, none of that stuff today. Um, I want to remind you guys to uh, definitely don't forget to leave a comment, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel if you want these daily updates every single day. I do them every day. Um, and by leaving a comment down below, also enters you to win a free t-shirt next Sunday. We'll pick a random comment from a video throughout the week. All right, so looking at this, still looking at this as a giant bull flag on the monthly. And if you look here, we did get rejected at the 13 EMA, which is right around the uh, 75, 80 range. And that's what we had been talking about the last few days here. Um, if the monthly can get above this and close above this, guys, I think we're going to be pretty damn bullish. Um, but as you can see, we did get support at the 21 EMA, which was around the 70, 7150 range, somewhere in there. All right, let's take a look at the weekly. So on the weekly, we're looking pretty good, guys. We've been talking about this. Um, to keep the 13 from crossing the 55 EMA, we need a nice boost here. We could be, I do have this target up here at 8,500, which is a possibility this week. And I'm gonna show you how. Um, obviously, there's no guarantees. Nobody knows exactly where the market's going. We do have our lower lows though. Um, I know people are still calling for some crazy lows, uh, but 5390 to 5400 range would be the um, 0.786 Fibonacci retracement, which is, the lowest I think it would go if it did continue down. Um, also have one at 49, which is along this trend line right here, which if we come down could be where the 200 EMA lands to. Uh, but let's look at the RSI real quick. Anyone that watches the channel know you that know that I love my RSI. So as you can see, I have this red support line here from we capitulated back in 2014 underneath this support line broke back through in 2015 came back down tested it for support and again guys this is a weekly and the bull run started um same thing 2018 we capitulated below that support came back up above it in the beginning of 2019 came back down tested for support and now it does seem we are continuing up from here also i want to point out we were watching this as a falling wedge which we broke out of, came back down, tested for support right along that red support line. And if I take this line here, clone it, and bring it in the weekly, we are about to touch this. If we look at this as a falling channel, we are about to touch this line now. If that breaks on the weekly and we close the weekly outside of this, watch out. Um, also, let's look at the... <clears throat> did we look at the EMAs here? Yeah, we did. All right, let's go back over to the daily. Again, guys, sorry, I'm going to try to whip through this as quick as possible. But looking at this as a falling wedge here, I have a measured move from the breakout. And what we do is measure the widest point of the wedge. And actually, it probably should be measured from over here, um, right about there. We take it to where we broke out. And again, I want to remind you guys, too, that gets us right up to the around the 8100 zone. 81 to 8150, which would be the 200 EMA on the daily. It is a damn good possibility we're headed there. The 55 EMA is giving giving us resistance right now. I want to remind you guys too, if you look below the video next to the subscription, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. And right next to that, there's a join button. We're I've started a members group where we'll be going into more detail on <clears throat> looking for longer term swing trades 
and uh, working with a group of people in there to you know look for entries and exits on trade there will be some day trading I'm gonna focus more on longer trades but um but yeah definitely check it out there like I said there's a members group and um, there will be still live streams most of the live streams now are gonna be members only and to get the live streams you'll need a level two and to get the chat you'll need a level three uh, but anyway check it out there's a blue join button down by the subscription so like I said, if we continue up from here, we're looking at the 81 to 81.50 range. And then I'll obviously I have the target up at 85, which is the top of this resistance line here on the top of the falling wedge, bull flag, whatever you may want to call it. <clears throat> and then obviously, if we break back down here, we could be coming back down too. And I will put a target in here right about here and that would be retesting the top of the wedge and testing this bottom line again here um this bottom support line the main support line so anyways that's what i'm looking at right there uh, if you look at the emas here guys on the daily zoom in a little bit you can see our eight crossed our 21 and now our 13 has crossed the 21, which is helping give us this bullish move. So um, depending on what happens here, we could be coming up to at least test the 7,700 if that breaks, looking at the 8,000 to 8,150 range. And let me go into the four hour. We'll take a quick look at this. Oh yeah, I did want to look at the RSI on the daily also. And if you look at the RSI on the daily, we'll zoom in. We have this falling channel in yellow, um, which we are broken out of now. But remember, this is the daily. We could come back down under it. Uh, but if if we do stay broke out of here and close the when we close the daily out of here, if the RSI is still out of this channel, that's going to be pretty damn bullish. We're most likely headed up to test the top of this white trend line here. And that would be most likely around that eight thousand dollar range. Keep a close eye on it, guys. Um, I will try to do an update tonight, maybe, depending on what's going on. But this was our target from yesterday, 75.81, and we almost hit it on the dot. I've had this target here for a few days. You can check on my videos, but we hit it almost on the dot here. We did get our resistance at this trend line, still getting resistance. Um, the question is, can we break up out of this today? That will be extremely bullish if we do. And like I said, I, I have the same targets up here. If you look, um, the breakout of this would be around the 80, like I said, the 8,050 to 8,150 range. And there is a larger target after that, which is possible. And that being, um, if we do a measured move of the wedge here, this big wedge in uh, thick white lines, that would get us, whoops. That would get us up to around the $8,900 range, which again would be the top of this bigger uh, resistance line on the top. Don't forget, we still have the target. If it, if it moved slower, would get us up to that 85 range, which would be the top of this. But as of right now, this is what I'm looking at, guys. Um, it all depends. If we could break this... 75 80 zone say 7600 just to be safe if we can open and close a four hour candle above this white trend line which would be above the 75 80 um, we're definitely looking towards the 8000 to 8100 target and then after that obviously we'll see where it's at there and see what goes on now if we were to break back down here one place we would most likely come retest is the 7250 zone, which is the 0.618 that we've been watching forever. And then we have the 0.65 down here at 6,900. If those two were to break, I would be looking for 6,280 range. And if that was to break, then we're looking at the 0.786. And if that was to break, we would take the measured move from this wedge. Bring it on down here. That would get us down to that $4,900 target. But again, guys, unless we break this $6,250, I'm going to remain bullish here. Whoops. And if we break this $7,580 and open and close a four-hour candle above it, I am going to be extremely bullish. So 
that is what I'm looking at. Let's look at the RSI. And in the RSI, we have the rising channel in red that we've been watching. Um, we had this channel we broke out of, came made another falling channel, broke out of that, came back down a few times now, tested for support. And if you look here, this looks a lot like an inverse head and shoulders forming on the RSI, which could lead us to coming up to test the top of this um, red rising channel, which most likely is going to be around that $8,000 zone. Um, 8000 could be as high as eighty five. We'll see what happens. Um, I do have this trend line off of these three wicks here, and that would line up with the 85, and that would be around the 8th, today being the 6th. So Wednesday, we could see that 8,500 possibly. Obviously, guys, there's no guarantees in the market. I'm showing you what I'm seeing, and I hope it's helpful to you. And if it is, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and leave a comment. But let's look at, uh, that's about all I wanted to look at here. As you guys can see what I'm looking at. Now let's look at Litecoin. I had the target up here at 45.55. We almost hit it. We hit 45.25. So pretty close. Off by about 30 cents. But it's not to say this move is done yet. And I don't think it is. Being, If you take a good look at the EMAs here. We've had the 8 and the 13 cross the 200 EMA. 21 is moving up towards it pretty good. All of the smaller ones have already crossed the 55. And if you guys watched my videos, um, I had told you once they all cross, the last one crosses the 55 here, the next candle to open and close above it, which would have been right here. And even if you would have gotten it at the high, it would have been 42.27. But um, that is where you enter. And then you don't exit until the 8, the 21, and the 13 cross back under the 55 and open and close a candle. Let's look at the targets here. Okay, there's that 45.55. As you can see, let's let's go to the daily first. Sorry guys, I'm jumping around, just trying to make this quick and it's actually probably slowing it down. But let's look at the daily here. So on the daily, we are in a rising channel and the top of that 45.55 was my target, which would be the 55 would line up with the 55 EMA here and the top of this resistance. Now, if we were to come back down and get resistance there, come back down to test the bottom of this, that's going to be around the $40 range. And if that was to break, then we're looking at the 3375. Now, I know a lot of people are expecting lower lows, which I'm not saying it isn't going to happen. But if you look back at the way the market was reacting when we were at 3200 Everybody was still doing the same thing, calling for one leg, one more leg down. Usually, the market's not going to give them guys that opportunity to buy low. Just remember that. Um, and if we break up from here, that would get us around the 52. Actually, I'm going to have to move that now. That'd get us around the 50 around the $52 range 51 50 to 52 and remember guys these targets are not exact but that would also be the top of this resistance line here um, if that was to break we'll take a look at it that'll obviously will be going much higher but let's look at the RSI RSI we are in this falling channel getting ready to come up test the top of it if that breaks I do have this broadening wedge in here in white We'd most likely be coming up to test the top of this, which would probably line up with that 49 to $52 range. Um, and then, like I said, if we do get major resistance here, let me get this one out of the way. We did hit that target the other day. I don't know why it's still there. But anyway, you guys can see what I'm looking at. Um, join the discord. There's a lot of people in there to help if you guys want to learn, help start learning this stuff. And like I said, in the membership, it will be going more in depth. And all you have to do is hit the blue join button down there to check that out. All right, let's uh, look at gold real quick. I had these targets in gold. Gold's still looking pretty damn bullish. And if I throw my targets up there, this one obviously hit. We could take that down. And now we have hit, whoops. We've hit the latest target of 1584. I do have a much higher target there, and that's measuring this whole area as a flagpole. And 
measuring this as a bull flag, putting it up, and that's around 1741 for gold. Definite possibility. Keep an eye on it, guys. Um, we'll look at silver real quick. And as you know, I've been watching for a possible Adam and Eve here. But our first target is just a measured move of this wedge, which is 1970. Looks like we are headed there. The next one would be measuring this as a flagpole, that being a flag. And guys, I like to keep this simple. And if, if you hear anybody knocking TA, all you got to do is watch some videos. These targets hit, guys. Um, 2214 would be the target of this as a bull flag. And then, like I said, looking at this as an Adam and Eve, our target would be 2760. But that wouldn't be confirmed until we break around the $21 range. Maybe get up to this target, come back down, test this for support, and continue up from there. We'll see what happens. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking the Crypto Savvy logo above my head. Tick the notification bell. That'll get you notified when I post new videos. Hit the all. And uh, hit the likes. Leave your comments. And that'll get you entered to win the free t-shirt. Take it easy. Have a great day. Don't forget to check out the affiliate links to help the channel out below also. Have a good one, guys. I'm out.